Hi, I'm Peter from Project Heaven Restoration. Uh, today, I'm gonna to show you around the Porsche 911 EV conversion that we've been carrying out. You may have seen this car in the back of videos. It's been in the workshop for quite a while because it's been a very, very complex conversion and it's very safety critical. So we've had this thing together and apart and together and apart to make sure that there's absolutely no problems with it. And there's a lot that can go wrong when converting an EV car, to, a car to EV. Okay, to give you a quick rundown of the system we've got here that we've installed and designed for this Porsche 911, we've got 15 Tesla Model S battery modules installed in this thing. We've got 11 of them in the front, four in the back. They're all water cooled as well. Water cooled because that means we can rapid charge them. You don't necessarily need to water cool them if you're using them in uh, more of a lightweight conversion, something with less horsepower, say 100 horsepower or so, then you don't necessarily need to uh, water cool them because you're not demanding much from them. And when you're regening or when you're char rapid charge, you know, you can't really rapid charge them. But in this one, you can rapid charge. That's the key point because we've got the water cooling on there. We can rapid charge and we can regen at higher rates. Although you don't want to regen too much because this is rear wheel drive. So in wet conditions, uh, we've got a, a switch in the car. We're going to store a switch in the car that can reduce the amount of regen for, because you're, you're effect, it's effectively breaking the rear brakes for you by regenerating. Okay, so we've made the battery boxes from aluminium to keep it lightweight. We've had to use thicker material obviously than if they were steel, but it still reduces the weight. It also looks a bit smarter. Another thing we've made here, we've got a uh, manifold we've designed, which distributes the cooling fluid to all the battery packs. There's one at the front and one at the rear, and you can see that there's 11 pairs of fittings on here. There's, as in, 11 inlets and 11 outlets, which go to the battery pack modules. And at the back, there's a similar thing. Uh, this, this frame here, we only put this in when we're, to help us lower the battery pack into the car and take it back out again, because as I said before, We've had it in and out a few times to make sure that everything is 100% safe. One of the things we're doing to check it's 100% safe, I've got the laptop out and it runs all manner of diagnostics on this. I've just done another final check and everything is absolutely fine. So we can test it in a minute, so we'll do that in a minute. Okay, so around the back, uh, this isn't completely assembled yet. We're still at the very much of the test stage, but all the componentry is in. Uh, I'll just run you through all the various components. So. We've got the charger unit here. That's for the, like the slow charge, if you like, off the mains. You've got the DC-DC converter, which is kind of like the alternator, if you want to think of it that way. It provides the 12 volts that the rest of the car needs uh, by, con by converting the high voltage DC to low voltage DC. And then at the end, there's a BMS, battery management system, which monitors things like battery temperatures, battery voltages, has a lot of inputs, and they all need to be working correctly. You can't just disable random ones you don't like the look of. They need to be work correct. They need to be reading. And if all those conditions are met and everything's within parameters, the light on that will go green. And that then allows the gear selector knob in the center of the car to light up. But if there is any problem, th this will go red and it will stop you from putting it in drive. Okay, so other things in here, we've got the two radiators. One radiator is for the motor, one radiator is for the batteries. They have two header tanks, which are separate as well. The tank's just out and up at the moment because we've only just fitted it and we're bleeding the system through. Uh, another thing you can see here is the distribution block manifold for the cooling system for the rear battery pack that's down here. There's also the, a smaller 12 volt battery to supply the uh, car's electronics. Okay, so still to do is we've got to put, uh, there's like a, a heat duct, like there's a ducting that goes here, that when you shut the lid, it directs cool air to the radiators. It also weatherproofs this area and there's some there's various covers and things that need to go on here and all this cabling and everything needs to be tidied away. So there's a little bit left to tidy up and everything, but we're sort of, everything's out at the moment so we can test it. Okay, so let's look inside the car and we'll also give it a quick spin up on the ramp. All right, so inside the car, again, not totally all tidied up yet. There's some wires hanging out and stuff, but we're again, we're testing. So. We've just installed all the dials here. We've got a full set of electronic dials, which give you, look like, look like the Porsche units, but they give you uh, different readouts. So you've got 
the car's battery voltage, as in the 12 volt battery, you've got the EV battery voltage, you've got EV battery level, state of charge, you've got amps, which is like the current draw and regen. So when you, when you, it's almost like a rev gauge, if you like. And then um, miles per hour, battery temperature and motor temperature. So looking at the center console here, we've got the gear selector, neutral drive and reverse. This button starts it and uh, down there you've just got a brake and an accelerator, no need for a clutch. Okay, so that's enough talking about it. Let's see if it actually works. Okay, you turn it on. I can hear the pumps whirring at the back for the cooling system. I've heard uh, the contactors cycle. Everything's lit up, everything's happy. The gear selector knob's lit up, so that means that the BMS is happy. So, we put it in uh, drive, press start, and then put the accelerator. Okay, so make sure you subscribe so you can watch the test video that we do next week. No! <laughs>